freelancers and welcome back to another episode. In this one I'm going to talk about three ways to improve your hip motion, your hip agility, control, etc. however you want to call it. Mainly how to move your hips in whatever ways you want. Intro! The first thing that we are going to talk about is those boring, never-ending warm-up exercises. That's why I showed you like fast a few of them on music. Um, it's about being able to go through all the possible directions and motions with your hips in order to understand how to move your hips in that way. And afterwards, of course, combine every possible direction and motion. So the first thing that you might want to start with is having your legs shoulder width apart and just focusing on, you know, like stretching just a little bit, maybe your legs, you know, like uh. it's really important here to control your body, to have your abs tensed, yeah, to coordinate your hands, your body, your legs, don't go with your knees like in overextension and also don't go with your entire weight from one leg to another. Try to have, let's say, your upper body in place and like just move the hip in uh, both directions, left to right, like in a counterbalance. How you can do this if you're, not, uh, if you're not able to do this, imagine that your body is going to one side while your hips are going to the other side, like uh, 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 and voila. So just move your hips from one side to the other. Now, if we did like left and right, let's go forward and back, you know, and it's also like that stretching motion in which you go like this, like this, yeah, like this, like this, you are also moving your hips. We are going to stay here like with the forward and back side to side motion and you can go like forward, neutral, right, neutral, back, neutral, left, neutral. Do it with me like forward, neutral, right, neutral, back, neutral, left, neutral, and then faster and faster, like boom, 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 boom. This will help you in coordination and also in understanding how to move it. Of course, you can practice and play with all the different possibilities, but let's say we've covered, let's say the forward and back, left to right, yeah? And now we're going to go on those circles, like just do big circles, also like, you know, you're just warming up. This really helps you, especially if you're a guy that doesn't know how to move his hips. Ladies, you kinda already are more natural than us, but you can always improve. And of course, in the other way. So, we did like forward and back, side to side, circular. Of course, there are, let's say, diagonal moves, but if you're thinking about them, it's just like twisting your hips and going like side to side, but being twisted a little bit. And of course, it's bad for your knees in this position, but I've said about the diagonal move because we're going to talk about it in exercise number three. But coming back, you did all the different directions, you did the circular motion. Let's go with our hips closer not our hips, our legs, closer. And now you might feel it's a little bit more weird doing this, but now we can add the knees. And it's like walking in place and you will feel that the hips are moving, yeah? So of course, this is another exercise that you can do, like walking, you know, like walking in place. You can also go forward and back, but don't go like this because we did it here. Try to go, you know, like you have a bar here and you're twisting your hips like up, and back, yeah? Like forward, up, back, up, forward, up, back, up. This is like, you know, like tilting forward and back. This is also important in understanding how to move your hips. Also, you can use this, let's say, side tilt, you know, like here, you see, this is more contracted, this is more extended, and in the other way. Of course, I can help myself with the legs, but mostly, yeah, it's not this, because like here, the energy is in my feet going down, down. This is more about the hip. Look at my heel, like, you see, I'm raising my heel and I'm pushing my hip forward, like, ah, ah, ah. Ah, this helps you, for example, in bachata. It's not the tap. It's not that the tap, it's like this, but it's a move that helps you. We've covered, let's say, side to side, up tilting, yeah? We can, like, do uh, again the exercise with the forward neutral, side neutral, but doing this tilting motion, like going up, neutral, 
up neutral back neutral left neutral so up neutral right neutral back neutral left neutral let's talk now about the circles of course we could try and do those circles like here when we had like a bigger stance and we had more balance but here we can go into those let's say doing circles but going up and down and for example you go to the side just forward the other side back and you learn how to do these circles which will help you when you want to do different kinds of moves especially in bachata these exercises the warm-up exercises that are really boring help you a lot moving on from these exercises which are general let's say there are some specific exercises you can do and the first one which is really important doesn't matter the dance style is i call it like walking in place but it's a little bit different than this one when we're just going you know from one uh, leg to another first remember we are dancing salsa bachata for example we roll the foot on the ground so we are going to start with one leg going up on the toes yeah i'm going to roll the, the feet on the ground no hips for now yeah so just walk in place now whenever i am getting ready to move my weight for example on this leg i am going to leave my hip to be let's say relaxed here you know like when you're waiting for the bus or like we were doing here yeah but it's a little bit exaggerated and i'm also raising the heel i will go let's say a little bit forward you know like going forward a little bit i'm going to begin putting pressure on the leg and i'm going to transfer my weight from my right side in my case this side into the neutral position and when i de-click to say so the legs from one to another i go with my hips in the other direction and i did the click with this leg so it's like boom i raise and i fall boom pack boom pack boom pack and you might think okay what is this useful for watch this one two three four five six seven eight or one two three four five six seven yeah it's similar we use what we've learned here to put on our salsa basic or in our bachata and of course in general you get more control over your hips move number three or way number three is doing those eights we did more tutorials about them yeah check them but once again the eights are a really important move to have and to know as a leader as a follower doesn't matter it's really important to know how to do this move because there are so many moves in which you will want to do like let's say half a circle on the side which is actually like half an eight and of course we've talked in the beginning about let's say those diagonals in this case we are going to use the diagonals because in one point we are going to shift our weight from one leg to another in a diagonal so how do we do these eight well let's say the first basic exercise is have your feet like shoulder width apart oriented a little bit to the side yeah just move your weight on one leg doesn't matter now this is let's say point number one you've shifted your weight now try to turn a little bit just a little bit your hips in order to be a little bit diagonal now push in that diagonal like change your weight but don't go back into the neutral push a little bit let's say forward now switch push switch push switch push don't overdo it because your legs are blocked you cannot do it like this like really exaggerated because you will hurt your knees but this is a good point to start like doing small just to understand the motion yeah like diagonal switch diagonal switch diagonal switch be careful not to switch like the hips with also the weight like this you see it's um, i don't know it's something else it's like going the opposite way so always switch on one leg push on the other switch on the same leg push to the other and the last tip yeah would be to begin when you're pushing to to pivot pivoting means this this will help you also protect the knee and going a little bit more with the movement like here i pivot and i move boom so first do this exercise small then you can use a little bit your knees to protect them to to not have them blocked and like you know like over twist your knees and then you just gain a little bit of uh, let's say space and try to lift the heel when you're when you're shifting your weight yeah in, a, in a, to be able to let's say pivot a little bit on the ground and this will be a great way 
and a great exercise, especially for you guys, because we have some problems with the hips, to understand how to move the hips. So unblocking your hips will help you a lot in your dance, either salsa, bachata or anything else, because they help uh, maintain the balance. They also act like uh, suspensions, you know, when you dance instead of going like, like this, yeah, boom, boom, pack, and also they help in your general movement. Also, the hips with the abs connect the lower, the lower body part with the upper body part, yeah? And it will help you a lot more in your dance. Especially, guys, if you want to learn sensual bachata, you have to learn how to move the hips because you have all those movements. And also, ladies, you have to learn them because you are the ones that will be doing those sensual moves. That being said, this was the lesson for today. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe, to follow, to click the like button and see you the next episode or the next lesson. Bye-bye.